Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1168. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, we have a column of date and times, and actually a bunch of the recent videos I've been doing are dealing with date and times. And we just need to get the time from the date time. Now, it's important that you know that when you see date and time, actually what the date part of the number is and the time part of the number is. If we were to go highlight some of the cells, remember that's just number formatting. Go to Home, drop down for Number Formatting, and General. The general number format wipes away all number formatting. The date is a serial number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to whatever today's date is. Those are whole numbers counting from day 1 is January 1st, 1900. Day 2 is January 2nd, 1900. So this date is 41,646 days since December 31st, 1899. And time is a decimal. It's actually the proportion of a 24-hour day. 8 divided by 24 would tell us 8 AM. So the second part of this number, the decimal part, that's the time value. I'm going to Control Z to undo that. Now, if you don't know about the numbers underlying dates or times, or in our case, dates times together, then it's hard to actually extract that, right? Well, check this out. This actually comes from a comment under one of the YouTube videos. Laza from YouTube said, hey, we're going to do this formula. I'm going to take the whole date time and subtract from it just the integer part. That means the date part. Oh, check that out. That's cool. Remember, the A4 is the bigger number. And the int is going to be just the integer part. The only time they'd be the same, and this comes out 0, is when there's no time or actually exactly midnight. Control Enter, Control C. And I don't know where the last cell is here, so watch this. I'm going to Control Down Arrow, 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 Control Shift Up Arrow, and Control V to paste. Control Up Arrow. So that is a cool way to do it. Another way to do this is to use the remainder function, the mod function. And I'm simply going to say, hey, the number in the numerator is this. And then the divisor or the denominator is 1. So it's dividing by 1, but the mod only gives it the remainder, which is the actual decimal part. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Hey, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Laza. We'll see you next trip.